Good evening from Doha, Qatar. I'm here this evening as I'm on my way to Africa for a long weekend. And I decided to stop by in Doha to get a bit of the World Cup feeling. And there's already, I can see a lot of people around and it's gonna be a lot more when the World Cup has started because they're expecting at least 1.6 million fans. And I guarantee that bear is gonna get a lot of selfies during that time. And the official match ball, which will be used in the World Cup. Well, not this huge one, which is on display. <laughs> but the little ones, which are beside it, as for me, I would have gone to the World Cup. I went to the World Cup in Russia, but due to the lack of accommodation here and the ticket pricing, I decided to give it a miss this year and instead go to Africa. So join me on my adventure to Africa. Good morning from Nairobi, Kenya. I've just arrived and you can see by my face I'm absolutely shattered, but I've got the adrenaline that's keeping me going and I had a welcome, nice welcome from mosquitoes. I've already had like five bites. Um, I'm expecting more to come, but now what I need to do is get from this airport over here. To the city center and there's two options, Bolt or Uber. So all I've done is I've already bought a SIM card. Now I just need to order one of those and head towards the city center. Kenya, in 1920, belonged to the British colony, the Eastern African British colony, as I understand. But it was only up to 1963, where this gentleman over here, Jomo Kenyatta, fought for his independence. He is now known as the father of the nation. The British Empire definitely helped out Kenya's infrastructure. As you'd see, if you come over here, they drive on the left side of the road, which is the correct way, isn't it? <laughs> Worldwide, it should be the same. And they're also using the British free pin plug. And now I'm heading to the Welwyn Museum, which I presume would have also a big British influence in those early days. But just before I go, I want to show you oh, a clock that looks similar to Big Ben. So I've just arrived in the Bowie Museum and I had to fill in this visitor's pass to get into a museum. Well, I'm in now, and there is some British influence, but it was before 1920s. Over here, we've got a picture of Churchill in Nairobi. Walking up from the railway station. Wow. The Uganda Railway, British East Africa. And one thing still intact, the British trolley that was used in Mombasa. To be honest, I'm not mad crazy on trains, but I have a friend who is, and there's two trains outside here, which definitely deserve to be mentioned because they were both in action between the 1920s and 1970s. And both were built in the UK. So the first train over here, 
Tia Tangan Yika Railways. Built in Manchester and was used in the film Out of Africa. And the second train was built in Lancashire and used for the Uganda and Kenyan railways. Look at that beauty. They even got the mark. Lancashire. Good morning, it's my second day in Nairobi and it's time to check out one of the national parks. In Kenya, 10% of its land is consisted of over 50 national parks. And this one I'm going to, there's like a little safari, but it's got a uh, walk called the Safari Walk, which I wanna go and try out. I'm hoping to find some wild animals there this morning. So join me, let's do it. So I found the uh, safari walk, but it doesn't look promising. It doesn't look like it's open. Here it is. In fact, it was funded by the EU. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get in. So the place is open, but there's nobody here. And I think it's obviously because it's a Friday morning and uh, yeah, it just looks deserted. Oh, I found a monkey. Well, let's go and uh, say hi. Looking at something. Oh, what's it looking for? All right, mate. Actually, I'm not going to go any closer, or should I? Well, staring at me out. Okay, <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, are they? Yes, they do. Oh, well. Hey, hello. Well. Native to Kenya. Yes. Look at say. them go. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> cool. They are called the Columbus monkey. So they just eat on that, that kind of food, right? Yes. Just on like uh, veg. I'd say. So they don't eat like any meat, just their no, diets no, no, basically no. and veg. Vegetarian. Oh, okay. You want to feed them? Oh uh, yeah, go on then. Hold like this. Uh huh. Then you, he will pick from your hand. Okay, cool. Let's give it a go. Hopefully, he doesn't scratch me. You won't scratch me, right? No. Oh wow. Wicked. <laughs> That's <is> awesome. <laughs> give this one. Yeah, go on. Then. Give another go. This one. Cool. Gonna feed the monkeys. <laughs> There you go, fella. No, he doesn't want it from me. No, no. Do you want it? He's gonna pick. Just give it to me. Okay. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah, I see what I mean. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, 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 look like the way it's coming towards us. Yes. <laughs> They kick. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so the ostrich, you got the zebra, and what's this one here, sorry? Wildebeest. Ah, okay. <laughs> 
Wow. Gotta love that ostrich. <laughs> What's the uh, life expectancy for them? Expectancy. 30. 30 is it? Ah, okay. Wow. Those eyes. Wow. Wants to attack me and eat me. <laughs> Did you see those lips just move then? <laughs> Oh, well. So I've just finished at the safari walk and the uh, tour guide uh, George, who was showing me around, uh, it was great. I had a great time, obviously, feeding the monkeys, seeing the ostriches, and uh, I learned a lot of interesting uh, things from him. Uh, especially there's an ostrich farm which you can go outside Nairobi which is three hours away and you can ride on the ostriches that's definitely something I want to do and he was saying that over here the Nairobi National Park main gate you can hire a car and you can actually go and drive through the park yourself without a guide so um, that is something I would definitely want to try out after that safari walk but now uh, one recommendation from him is to go to the giraffe center so that's where we are heading now let's do it so i'm at the uh, giraffe center now as per the recommendation of george on the safari walk and the cost to get in was 1500 shillings which is about 15 quid i think and he gets some little free food to feed the giraffes with. Okay. <laughs> but I've got to say, from uh, what I learned from the safari walk, they're definitely one of the friendliest animals you can meet, unless you're going to be in the way of them when they kick. If they kick you, you're going to know about it. So are there expats going around? So here is where you can actually feed the giraffes. <laughs> and what I love more is the sign on the gate here. Please beware for giraffe headbutts. <laughs> uh, and the little hogs. And more giraffes. Here you go then, fella. Yep, oh, good catch. Oh, sorry. Open. <laughs> so not far from the giraffe centre, there's a place called Omas Park. And here, you'll be able to visit the old tribal huts and what they used to wear in those days. You'll see all the... Um, Kenyans dressed up in their kind of tribal um, dress. So I'm excited and let's go and see what we can find here. <laughs> so the first stop we've got is called Mijikenda. And you see all these nice little built huts. There's a watchtower here. And the little huts just down here. I wonder if I can get up that watchtower or would it break? I think that ladder will break if I give that a shot. I bet I avoid that. <laughs> but let's see what else we've got here. So this place store for dried vegetables. The workshop. This hut here was the second wife's hut. So I'm actually pretty impressed with Bomas. It's free to get in and the set out, the layout of the place is showing you what huts were like or still like 
in places today within Kenya. So we've got here Embu, for example. And Embu is there. And what did the uh, huts look like, or what do they look like if they are still today? A bit different from the others. With the, with the white structure, but still with the straw roofs. Wow. It's nice, but I want to see a Kenyan in their like tribal dress. Let's try and find one or somebody. So this is the weekend. Um, I suppose it's the reason I cannot find someone in a traditional Kenyan dress. Um, but over here on some wood, there's a painting of what they do look like. Bamas of Kenya. And there's the lion. So my time in Kenya is nearly over. Would I come back? Yes, I definitely would to do a safari next time. In fact, you can see the national park behind me in Nairobi where you can actually do safari. Look at the land, just over there. But anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like below. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my Kenyan Tusker beer. Cheers.